Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 and part 3 of how to use Courseplay. So this one's going to be a bit of a short one but it's, it is something really cool and really useful and it's brand new as well so since Courseplay has been updated um, this feature has been added in it's definitely something I use quite a lot in FS19 version of Courseplay and Auto Drive combined because that's the whole point of this feature it combines the two together which really does change things uh, for the better it really does and it's dead easy to use so this is going to be a short one but what I do quickly would just want to say first is yes this is part three um, but this is going to be the first of the parts that I'm going to be doing about combining Courseplay and Auto Drive together so part four of the Courseplay tutorial is going to be about harvesting um, it's going to be technically using a course plate to use the harvester in a field um, and then obviously using auto drive for carting i'm also going to do it where we use an auger and then maybe a truck as well so we can expand um, but then on part five we'll go to using multiple tools which is like using multiple harvesters in a big field so we might go up to three uh, we could just start with two but see if we get a bigger field uh, for three i mean the field sizes on calmston field 13 is the biggest we could probably set up three harvesters in there. We'd have to use small headers um, and smaller harvesters just so it actually works a bit better. Um, but we can certainly do that and probably set up maybe multiple um, tractors with augers carting between them three harvesters. But I will show you that in the final one because that is quite in depth. And if you get to that point, you're obviously using uh, course play uh, quite a bit at that point because it's going to take it's still going to take some time. Um, and also, you probably need a big sized uh, map that's got some. You know some really big size fields on it for that anyway but let's get into this because it, like i said this is really simple straightforward dead easy to use but also if you know how to do it i promise you if you're using course plane or drive you won't not use this feature because it really does help so let's just say for example the mass has just gone into the workshop over here give it a bit of a service now got to go and mow some field it is august time um, and we own a grass field down by um let's pick 22 i own that one anyway so you've seen me with my auto drive tutorial setup routes uh, before so I'm, I'm if you're watching this video I'd, i'm taking it that you understand how to use auto drive the basics of setting up a route and putting in a waypoint and so on so we've already got a waypoint at field 22 that's the entrance to field 22 it's called field 22 um, and that's all we need to do this so basically the whole aim of what i'm going to show you right now is you can start off a course with auto drive from here so i can tell it to drive to field 22 and as soon as it gets there, it'll start the course on its own. So it uses auto drive to travel to that destination, but then when it gets to the field, it uses course play to do the actual field work. So all you need to do pretty much is make sure you set up your course, set him going, and he'll do that. And that's what I think is so clever. So as you can see, I am now in the Massey. I got my most set up. This is my auto drive network that I've already created. So if, you, if you're watching this and you don't know how to do auto drive, you do need to watch the basics of that. I have got a playlist set up which has got tutorials for course play and auto drive combined. So go and watch them. They're in a good order. So they start with the auto drive ones and then they go on to the course play ones. So you, if you watch them from start to finish in that order that I've set out, it'd be really useful for you because then you can use the features I'm showing you now because you already know how to set up a route with auto drive. Right, so all we need to do now is just set up the course first before we set him off. Um, you can do that obviously by going into the menu normally or you can just click no course. Make sure you close it down uh, because you do need to change this to course play field work. In fact, let's do field 24. That's pretty good. I've already got a waypoint there. So we'll change Bob and we'll tell him we want 24 now instead. So we just buy this and yeah, it's a good size field that is as well. So yeah, let's go back into the menu. Uh, go to the active workers page where you set your jobs create job course play field work target position i probably recommend doing it if you want to pick the field position you can you can just bang it in the middle but because i want him to start on the headlands with it being a mower and i probably prefer him to start just around where the waypoint is so that's like kind of my entrance even though i think this isn't doesn't have an entrance it's more like an open area but we'll just start it about here i think that's fine and then we'll open the course generator uh, three headlands, yeah, overlaps fine on that. We've upped it a bit because if I do set it to smooth, I do find that it's not as bad. But if you've got it on like sharp turns, you will miss bits, especially with the mower because of the way it's situated. You've got two at the back. It's like of that butterfly mower, so you've got two at the back, one at the front. There's always that bit in the middle that can 
mess over. So if you if you set this to smooth, but then up this to around 12%, 15%, it's only going to be on the headlands that it overlaps, but it always tends to help you out so you won't miss bits of grass. So we'll leave it at 12. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. Everything else is fine. We want him to start work on the headlands. And I think I should be fine, but what I'm going to do, because it's obviously not recognised that, we're just going to put field position 24 see if that works there we go so generate field work course so there we go it's now generated a course it's quite a big course now it's it's seen that there's obviously some objects in this field that it's going to try and avoid so if we just close that down you can see that this must be like a patch of uh, maybe trees or something there's one there so it has detected that and that's because we got obviously island bypass mode circle now you can make that to simple which means you'll just go around it each time, but I, I prefer it circle, so we'll just leave it at that. Um, but as you can see, he's going to probably, strangely, it looks like he's going to go through it here, which is a bit strange. So I'm trying to figure out what this loop for is for over here. So let's go back into it. We'll change this to simple and see if that improves things. So obviously with that there, I'd keep a close eye on it. That's a little bit better. Um, we'd have to just keep an eye on it. That's probably the best bet. But I'm happy with that. This of course, anyway, and that's all that matters. So now that it's active on this piece of kit, all we need to do is obviously keep it, save it if you want to. But we're not going to do that just for this video. We're just going to close the course plane menu down. Now, what we need to do is in here, we just want to say that we want to head to, just get this right, field 24. So you pick your waypoint. 24 make sure this is the really important bit which is this this course play button here if you click it it'll go colored so you'll see the actual emblem of course play colored so it's got the orange and the, the white um, you need that to be clicked like that so it's activated by activating it like that, what you're saying is when you get to your destination start your course play so that's all you need to do and then you just press go now I think the way that I've set that up is that he's gonna go in the other direction because of the nearest waypoint so if we just change that because there is a lot of lines here. But if we just change it here so we don't have to watch him go swing around. That should work much better now. So we'll watch him. See what happens. Because I think he's just got to turn left here. So it's not a big uh, distance for him to travel. And we can also turn off that. Because uh, I don't like how it sometimes... Well, it definitely does break the immersion. So if we just quickly go on that. And we don't want to... Um, where is it now? I think it might be show next path. No, that's what we want to change. There we go. So that's not showing now. So when he gets to obviously the waypoint, we could have turned the corner speed down. I probably would have done that, but it doesn't matter. But when he gets to this waypoint, he is then going to start his course. And the waypoints, he's going to branch off to the right now, and he won't be far away from it. We're nearly there. So let's have a look down there just to see what their modules were. So, ah, so it's two trees. So in fact, the first course, it, it just looked like that on the map. It actually would have gone through them. The gaps, um, the lines on, on the course that would look like they were going through it actually um, would have missed that. So as you can tell right now, he's basically started up all on his own. I'm doing absolutely nothing. Um, I just obviously told him to go to a destination. And he's all on his own, he's starting the course. So now he'll go ahead and mow this whole field on his own, uh, on his own accord as well. All we needed to do was say where we wanted him to go um, and what we wanted him to, to do when he got there. So how easy is that? I mean, it does simulate having workers on the farm. Um, and the beauty of it is, like as you can see, um, you can set him to go do field work. This could be like plowing, it could be cultivating, it could be anything really. You could say to a, a rapper, go to the field and start collecting and wrapping bales so hopefully you found this video useful hopefully you found it informative definitely try it out if you if you're using course play it saves it having and having an auto drive network really does help out with things like this so like i said the next two videos are going to be about harvesting and going to be about combining how to use auto drive and course play together on that we're going to start off with something simple something small but then we're going to in that episode build up to something like having an auger wagon um and cart in between uh, from the harvester to the auger and then to maybe a, a big trailer that's going to take it to a salad or even a cell point. 
But on the final video, we'll go into it more in depth. We'll be doing a much bigger harvest, with multiple combines, multiple augers, and then probably just the one massive trailer cart into either a cell point again or to a silo. It really doesn't matter, but it's, it works all the same. But on that note, I am going to leave the video there. So thanks for watching. Really do appreciate it. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up because that does help my channel out. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.